Hi, I'm Samuel Bass, lead designer of Command & Conquer 4 Tiberian Twilight, and I'm here today to talk to you about why you should pre-order the game. You gain access to a special bonus mission we've put together for you called Night Moves. In fact, it takes place about 12 hours before the start of the CNC4 campaign. And what it does is it puts you in the role of a commander, but not for Kane or for GDI, but for this character called Gideon, who is this Nod Separatist who sees himself as the kind of the, the heir to Kane's throne. And you are there to set up an ambush for a very important figure. And it's really how that happened. The backstory of what you will experience playing the first mission of the campaign. So Kane is on his way to a special event where he's going to unfold the Tiberium Control Network and reveal it to the world. But Gideon doesn't want this to happen. He wants to intercept Kane. And in order to do this, with a little bit of nod irony, uh, he wants to kill him with obelisks of light. So we thought it would be cool to find out how did a Nod general find a way to get these things into the city without Kane knowing. The incursion war was but a skirmish compared to the chaos we shall unleash upon the infidels today. One of the interesting objectives is you, is you go out to the edge of the city where they're, where they're really building up this, this uh, GDI city. You go out there and you find a couple of vehicles that you'll, you think will be able to get into the center of the city unnoticed and you capture those. But your discovery would mark the end of this grand plan before it even begins. There are uh, quite a few moments where a GDI patrol will come out and try to intercept you and you'll be getting this really fragile, unarmed truck towards the tunnel that leads to the center of the GDI city uh, and microing around that and making sure it doesn't, uh, doesn't get knocked out. It, it, it actually makes for quite a few moments because there are three trucks and uh, a number of attacks. But GDI would notice if a bunch of Nod tanks were rolling around stealing vehicles, so the, the second component of the mission is a distraction where you, you attack the GDI base and you disrupt their communications so that they're not able to report that these vehicles were stolen until well beyond the time that the obelisks are set up and Kane is ambushed. And this one I like to use offense because I like to hit the final objective really hard. There's a GDI defense unit that gets set up with a lot of towers and it can be hard to tear that down without some heavy weapons. But another thing you can do, uh, there's one mammoth on the field and, and some mammoths get sent towards you. You can knock those out and use your engineers to send them back uh, and that works just as well. The key things with Night Moves is it was the last mission that we made. It was made with all the experience of making the CNC4 campaign. It was much more open plan missions and Night Moves can really tackle it in any way you see fit. We had, didn't come up with a specific solution as much as create a problem and ask you to solve it. Now the heretic, the corrupter of our faith, he shall pay. What it does is it provides some additional depth and I, I recommend you play it. I think it's pretty cool. Well, I think it gives a lot more context to the story uh, between Kane and uh, the, the splinter factions of Nod. And any additional backstory you can get, I think, adds flavor to the entire campaign. This is Sam Bass encouraging you to pre-order Command & Conquer 4 Tiberian Twilight, coming to a PC near you March 16th.